Hey, you know, although my channel is all about motivating people to get a motorcycle when I talk about the awesome things about bikes, but there are some bad things about bikes that you need to know about. Some of you guys know about some of them, but not all of them. But you need to know this before you get a motorcycle because there's a lot of soft people out there, a lot of sensitive, a lot of pansies out there that can't deal with these bad things. But I'm going to tell you about them in this video. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. First off, guys, make sure you're wearing the gear to stay safe out there. And I have some links to some awesome gear like this airbag vest to help keep you safe. I never leave home without and my favorite helmet, ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with the automatic tint shield, motor vlog camera, glove, pants, boots. I include links to all my gear in the description and comment section of my videos. Obviously, the number one bad thing about motorcycles is that they're perceived as being dangerous, right? They got a bad reputation. And you know, it doesn't help that people like Cycle Cruiser, uh, you know, acting like a hooligan out here. Busting wheelies, acting a fool out here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it, it further makes motorcycles look bad. <laughs> um, so when you ride a motorcycle, people may look at you funny. Some people, especially older folks, that don't take too kindly to uh, bikers. And uh, especially if you're wearing the all black and you're on the Harley, they may think you're part of a gang or something. That's something you gotta deal with. But I know some of you guys are sensitive and you worry about the way other people perceive you. So you need to know that. I say the number one thing that I honestly, that I even, that, that kind of irritates me with motorcycles, but it's, it, it's not enough for me to stop riding motorcycles. But I tell you, when you put on a helmet, and if you got a little bit longer hair and you pull your helmet off after a ride, you got bad hair. <laughs> you got helmet head, man. <laughs> that's an irritation that's, you know, for those of you that never rode before and you put a helmet on, that's why some people don't wear helmets. But I'm telling you, I'd rather deal with that bad hair when you get up, take your helmet off than to actually not have a head or your head's bashed in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not that bad. But I say another bad thing is these cars don't respect us out here on the streets, man. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna have cars that try to swipe you, going past you. Uh, you're gonna have cars that's gonna try to pull out in front of you. Um, you're gonna have people yell disrespectful things to you out of their window, call you names sometimes. Uh, and then you got some other a-holes that are bikers that'll say, get a, get a real bike or something if you're on I don't know, not a Harley Davidson here in Ohio, and you're on anything other than a Harley Davidson. So you're gonna get some disrespect. Yeah, that thing's slow as hell. What's that? As a motorcycle rider, you need to understand that. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a crap. I, I find it all entertaining when people yell stuff out of the window. But a lot of times I get cool, you know, a lot of praise. They're like, oh, awesome bike, you know. Most of that you get very rarely do I get disrespect, but sometimes you do and you got to deal with it But these car drivers will disrespect you. They will try to pull out on you and, and uh, You know what I'm saying? That's why I stick to I to like riding out in the country But every now and then I venture into the city here like I'm doing right now um, Which is really not that much fun to me, but it's nice to mix it up every now and then especially for the channel but I say another bad thing about bikes is that you got to constantly keep the chain clean you know what i'm saying you have to now i see some of you fools out here that don't keep your chain clean and it ends up rusty and then next thing you know that's dangerous it can end up popping off and uh it can you know you want to keep up with your chain you know, and all these things are not a big deal but you got to know about them for you noobs out there you know what i'm saying Cause a lot of you guys that haven't ridden a long time, you don't, you don't, and you start getting disrespected for some people. You're like, what the heck, man? That's not nice. Don't be, you know, now we live in this PC world now. You know what I'm saying? We gotta be polit politically correct. Or you're, you know, you're deemed, uh, they'll, they'll cancel you out. So a lot of softies out here today. I don't know if they're putting estrogen in the water or something. I don't know, man. <laughs> Seriously, man. But that's why I'm doing this video, because I want you to know. 
I don't want you to get a motorcycle and then then you these things you know get disrespected or cars try to hit you or something. That's why I tell you, you got to ride defensively out here on the streets. I, I preach it in every in a lot of my videos, but you got to ride as though every one of these cars are going to kill you. Like you're seeing that car is going to pull out on you or this car is going to swipe you or a car is going to nail you from the back. You got to keep looking in your mirrors. You know, it's, it's something that's part of riding. And some people, they can't deal with that. You know what I'm saying? And then if they don't do it, they end up getting hurt out here on the streets. Um, and, you know, then they blame the motorcycle. The motorcycle gets the bad rep, you know, as being dangerous when it's the rider that lacks defensive riding skills. It's not wearing full gear a lot of times. And then when they have an effed up day, it's the motorcycle's fault, which is BS. You know? But I'll tell you this, guys, is that None of these things should keep you from riding. <laughs> because I tell you, the good things about riding a motorcycle far outweigh the bad things. The number one good thing about riding is the visceral feel that you get. Especially when you're riding a 450 Supermoto out here. Not in this traffic though. When you're out in the country roads, you can bust some wheelies and, and uh, rip the throttle here and there. Woo! Oh yeah, baby! And have some fun, enjoy the bike. But also in the city, though, it saves you on, on gas instead of driving your car. It's cheaper actually commuting on your bike. Which I don't know how you guys do it, because if I do it, like I said, I'm going to work looking busted, man. If I don't, I don't, you know, I have my own business, so I don't work at a job. But if I did, and I commuted on a motorcycle, I'd go in there looking jacked up, man. Coming in my head, all messed up. And got to go in there and comb it in the face. I come in there with some all sweated up. <laughs> looking looking bad. Looking rough, boy. Some of you guys keep the low cut hair cut. And you take your helmet off. You look fresh. But anyways, guys. Leave a comment below. What are some other things that you see uh, perceive as being bad for a bike? Or good? Or whatever. Leave a comment. Let's talk about it, man. I know some of you guys are probably going to get at me for doing a video talking bad about motorcycles. But, hey, I got to let... The noobs out there know what's up, man, because so many people quit riding because they can't deal with some of these bad things <laughs> that are really not that bad, though. But anyways, guys, make sure to hit thumbs up. really helps my channel. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also, hit that little bell symbol so you get notified when I release new videos. But I release new videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Till next time. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.